Hi and welcome to Low Content Japanese Puzzle Resources. My name's Ron Pumfleet, I'm your coach. In this updated training video 2, I'll be covering how to use Fastone Photo Resizer for renumbering your images to use with the Puzzle Book Compiler. Now you can also use this software for renumbering or renaming any of your images. You don't necessarily have to use Puzzle Book Compiler to create your puzzle books or your Japanese puzzle books. So without further ado, let's go have a look at Fastone Photo Resizer. Now just in case you haven't already downloaded it, there's the download link here below. And once you've got it and you open it up, then you'll be able to follow along in the video. So once you open the software, it will show you uh, the batch convert or batch rename. And we want to use the batch rename. So we'll click on that. As you can see, I've actually used this before. Now we need to go and navigate our way to find the, uh, the actual images that we want to ones I created for this demonstration. We'll click on puzzles. Okay. And eventually it will load all the images from that folder. Right, so now all 10,000 images have been um, loaded. So we'll actually add them to the area that we want so we can actually rename them. While that's happening, you'll see down here, we can actually rename and renumber our, all at the same time, paint. Right, so now let's just get rid of Man Mandela, or Mandela, or Mandela, I think it is, yep. And we're gonna keep it in lower case, and we want to start from the number one, okay? So, we just click on rename and say yes and it's off to the races so once it's finished I'll come back right so now all the puzzles numbers have been redone to 10,000 so we'll click on done now we want to go and do the same for the solutions and we've just got to wait for this side of the software to update itself and now that it's updated we can actually change the name here let's go in and we can just put s and it'll pick up the solutions and then it will actually populate this section here with the solution images and now that it's done that, we do what we did before, was we add them all into this section here. Okay, so now the input list section has uh, been populated. We just need to go down here and click on rename and say yes. And it's off to the races, renumbering all the images for us once again. Okay, okay now that we have renumbered the puzzle and the solutions, I'll stop the video here and we'll come back in the updated training video 3 where I will walk you through using the uh, puzzle book compiler for creating your Japanese puzzle books. So my name is Ron Pumfleet and I'm Marty here. Talk to you later. Bye for now.